and welcome to Picture This, a podcast from the photo archives of the Albuquerque Museum. My name is Jill Hartke, and I'm the digital archivist here at the museum. Today we are strolling along the railroad platform in 1920s Albuquerque to see which Hollywood celebrities are hopping off the train for some fresh air. In the photo archives of the Albuquerque Museum is a collection of photographs and autographs of film stars, athletes, movie producers, and scientists from the 1920s. Here's the story behind the collection. William Steele Dean moved with his parents to Albuquerque in 1912 at the age of 11, looking for treatment for his tuberculosis. Originally from Ohio, Dean was a frail child who suffered from poor health his entire life, limiting the opportunities available to him in careers and education. He was unable to complete formal schooling beyond the seventh grade, but Albuquerque was full of health seekers like him, and he became friends with the other tuberculosis patients who were living in TB cottages and sanatoriums around the city. A fellow lunger, Charles Wakefield Cadman, lived in a TB cottage not far from where the Dean family lived. Cadman was a well-known composer who would go on to become a popular composer of film scores in the 1920s and 1930s, and eventually he would help found the Hollywood Bowl Orchestra and perform solo recitals in that venue. A young William Steele Dean found joy in visiting with Cadman and other health seekers who stayed in Albuquerque for treatment of their illnesses. Dean was a fan of silent movies and the very early beginnings of the golden age of Hollywood. While his health did not allow him to travel much, he would walk down Central Avenue with his Kodak camera and small autograph book to the brick train platform outside of the Alvarado Hotel, hoping to meet and snap some photos of the celebrities who were riding the rails to Tinseltown. The photographs and autographs William Steele Dean captured on that train platform provide us with a glimpse into the world of 1920s celebrity travel. His excitement surrounding the film world and his musical interests also helped him get one of his first jobs when the newly opened Chemo Theater hired William Steele Dean as an organist to accompany silent films, allowing him to combine two loves into a job that his health allowed him to do. The Santa Fe Railroad's main east-to-west line runs from Chicago to Los Angeles with a fresh air break in Albuquerque so riders can get off the train and stretch their legs, purchase items from vendors on the platform, meet and greet fellow passengers, or grab a bite to eat from the depot. A landmark for the first half of the 20th century, the Alvarado Hotel was a great spot from which to spy celebrities on their way to or from Los Angeles. For Dean, his photographs and autograph books give an impression of the celebrity culture of the time. Some actors, actresses, athletes, and other celebrities pose for photographs and sign the autograph book. Others only sign the book. Sometimes the caboose of the train was the stage where the most famous of train passengers would look out over the platform. In some of Dean's photographs, Albuquerque Mayor Clyde Tingley can be seen rubbing elbows with the passengers, both on the train and along the platform. The train's arrival was a society event, and from the earliest years of the 1920s, William Steele Dean was there. His photographs show the people making headlines at the time, like Cecil B. DeMille, Rudolph Valentino, Mary Pickford, Hedda Hopper, and Albert Einstein. He even captured the animals making headlines, as Rin Tin Tin arrived on the platform and caused a stir one day. Included in the collection are also those whose names are less familiar to us now, a century later, but the excitement around the arrival of these people at the depot comes through in the photographs, in their smiles, their clothing, and the notes William Steele Dean left on the back of the photograph when a celebrity was pleasant to him, or a comment about the $4,000 that Rudolph Valentino said he paid for his wolfhound, Centaur Pendragon, who he was exercising along the train platform one day.
William Steele Dean never enjoyed good health, and he lived alone in his house at 209 Columbia Street Southeast. With no family nearby and few friends, he spent most of his life corresponding with authors, painters, or musicians, while collecting manuscripts, artwork, and photographs, and keeping up relationships through letters. William Steele Dean died in 1968, and his life was seemingly a quiet one, with few adventures, perhaps. But his collections tell of a man who had a very lively interest in the world around him. In the Albuquerque Museum's acquisitions file is a letter from an arts librarian at the Albuquerque Public Library explaining how Dean's photographs wound up in the care of the city. Mrs. Hester Miller, the arts librarian in 1973, wrote that Mr. Dean was a man of severely limited income in the late years of his life, who had no family or friends nearby and was in very poor health. Over his final years, he was befriended by three of the public library staff members, Miss McMahon, the Southwest librarian, and two members of the acquisitions department, Mr. Brayton and Mr. Case. When William Steele Dean died, Mr. Case was one of the first to be notified, and after relatives arrived in town, they allowed Mr. Case and Miss McMahon into the house on Columbia Southeast to examine Dean's collection. While most of the artwork, manuscripts, and books went to relatives, the photographs of the celebrities and the accompanying autograph book were donated to the public library. They were transferred to the Albuquerque Museum's photo archives in 1982, where many people have enjoyed seeing the famous faces of the Roaring Twenties in Tinseltown with Albuquerque's Alvarado Hotel as the backdrop. Thank you for joining us for Picture This with the Albuquerque Museum. Please join us next time for the story behind another photograph in the museum's collection. 